What exactly happened? A shoddy repair to the car and the brake pedal just suddenly went to the floor uh, and the car wouldn't stop. Day three of the event. I'm running on empty at this point. <laughs> I think most people are because these are long, hard days. And uh, it's great to see people, great to talk to everyone. Jenna's having an excellent time, which is pretty much what it's all about for us. But I am running on empty and it's starting to get painful. It's like, uh, it's interesting. Day three of a convention is very similar to the final few weeks of an election campaign. You're exhausted, your feet are hurting, you feel like you can't keep going, but you have to, so you've got to dig deep and find that uh, strength, because we've still got more to go. Let's go in. It's all quiet at the moment because uh, the public aren't in yet. So let's we'll see how it goes and what's going on. There she is. Oh my goodness. This is drier than it was yesterday. Although my shoes still haven't dried out. But are they, these are nice, these ones. And it's uh, eight pin socket, yeah. easy fit. Yeah. So if you need a, if you need a, a decoder, I recommend the, uh, <laughs> the Rails Connect 8. They're really good. They've got the brown app protection and everything. Hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, you catch me in my natural habitat of spending foraging for bargains. It's so have here. you found the little choo choo you want? It's still here. That means it was meant to be, I think. It's a class 05 shunter, but it's in rail blue. And it's, uh, I've already got a class 5 shunter in BR green, and it is the silkiest, smoothest runner of any locomotive that I got. And I really like diesels in BR blue. Um, if it had a tops number, it would be perfect, but only one of these ever lasted long enough to get one, and it had a cut down cab, so there's no model of it. But this is the next best thing, so I'm thinking this is today's spendy spend spend. So now we're following these people to give someone an award. We do a vote every year for the pups to choose their best layout. And this year, out of all the 30 layouts, we tend to be very good and chosen the Museum of Transport and the Museum of Transport. I would go to the your 30 years of the Museum of Transport being one show of exhibitions. I was at 266 shows, 266 shows at this layout. So I know from our information before the show as well, there's always something new on the layout as well, isn't there? Every time you go out to the show, there's always been something new adding to it, depending on what you do as well. So, you're very well deserved. Guys, this weekend has been long and hard on the feet, but a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Jen has had a hell of a time as well, haven't you, Jen? Absolutely, and it's been so great to meet so many people who watch the YouTube channel. I've actually had a few people come up to me from the YouTube channel as well. It's like, I told you I'm, they would. I'm hardly ever on it. I turn up occasionally on screen on the Monday Club, but mostly sit behind the camera and work the production side. Occasionally I turn up for a, a, what we call monkey builds, which is uh, when I put together a kit and review it, but 
for the most part, I'm not there. It's all Jen, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's her channel. But people still recognize me, and that's like, wow, that's quite a thing. I've had a few people talk to me because of the vlogs. Mostly in West Hart when I was a councillor there because they've been following me as one of their local politicians and wanted to talk about X, Y, and Z. But never at a convention. And that is a strange experience. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just different and an interesting new experience, let's put it that way. I, I, I think it was all right. <laughs> I certainly don't uh, don't want to uh, put people off if they want to come and have a chat, because come along. That's part of what we do. But it's just new. And I think it would take a lot of getting used to, let's put it that way. But uh, Jen, you've got used to it pretty quick, haven't you? Yeah, actually, um, it, it's been all right. <laughs> that's the high praise from Jen. <laughs> Anything that's all right is high praise. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Uh, last night, I didn't finish work until about half past one because I was on Question of Trek, which is always fun. So much fun, that show. It's like a highlight of my week most weeks. And I really enjoy it, but it was late and we'd already had a long day with an early start, so I am now going to snooze until we get home. Jenny, mm -hmm. why are we stopped? Uh, we have um, got a split brake line somewhere and all of the brake fluids come out of the braking system, so my pedal goes to the floor and the car won't stop. Uh, luckily, we were in slow moving traffic at the time. Um, and we've pulled off onto the services and we're just waiting for the breakdown people to come. Jenny wanted a really nice end to the weekend, just an easy drive home and then to get back and settle on, settle in. That's not going to happen. Apparently, we've called the AA and it might take two hours to get here and help. Which, well, it's Sunday, I can understand that. But it's not exactly a good uh, end to the day, is it? But what can we do? It's happened. These things happen. These things happen a lot to us, but these things happen. <laughs> so we're just going to wait here now. And that's just how it is. And that's the one that they. This car has done maybe 300 miles since this brake caliper was, was replaced. And it's blown the union at the back of it. And that's the, that's the one that, uh, that they, they replaced. So. Well, that's not good, is it? Yeah. It was a really good job that the, the traffic on the motorway slowed right down to maybe 10, 15 miles an hour. So when I pressed the brake pedal and it's just dumped everything out, we weren't going fast. We could have been doing 70 miles an hour and found that, you know, we'd have just run into the back of something at 70 miles an hour. So, scary stuff. Can't fix it at the roadside, they don't have the tool to um, reflare the pipe or whatever it is they do. So we're going to have to be recovered by the AA and uh, get towed home. So, ironically, I do get to sleep on the way home. Was this all a conspiracy to, to get a good night's sleep? No, it was certainly not. We're now halfway home. Uh, the AA has taken us to here, which is about halfway. And the guy who brought us this far, he's now heading home. And there's somebody else coming to take us from here to home. But it means we're not going to get back until really, really late. Further update to the uh, car incident. It is now 20 to 11 at night. And we have booked into a hotel because the AA can't get us home till tomorrow, so they've agreed to uh, put us up in a hotel instead of leaving us in a car park. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Jen, how are you? I I'm pretty tired as well. I'm just gonna uh, finish telling everybody that we're okay, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed and just go to sleep. I am utterly exhausted. So, tomorrow we get to finish the journey we started today. <laughs> And hopefully we're back in time for the Monday Club. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good night, guys. If you like the show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really does help create future videos. That's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. And I've got an extra special thanks going out to 
Chief 89, Sam Yates, Retro Mickey 82, Mo Henry, and George Botterini. Thank you so much, guys.